really big train station looks really modern. So Berlin, Berlin looks really modern, so that's um, it looks really clean too. I like it. Okay, welcome to Berlin. Travel at a guy in Berlin in front of the train station. And uh, it has a long name, I don't know, but it sounded almost like a beer. But uh, this guy said to go into the tourist uh, information center, and that was a bad idea. I didn't like that. I didn't think I would. The guy was not very friendly and he wanted, I asked him about a hostel, can you point me to a hostel? He's like, I can book you a hostel, a room. I don't want to book a room, I want to see the place. So I don't know what the deal is with that. And there wasn't many people there, so I don't think that's the place for me. I like to find it on my own. I like to talk to some people and see what's going on. So let's try to do that, get the feel of the city and welcome to Berlin. Come with me on a tour. I was walking around looking for a hostel. I haven't found that yet, but uh, I'm not far from the train station and I got this uh, bowl. It looks pretty good. It was uh, a lot of rice and stuff and chicken and salad for 550 euros. So everyone's telling me how expensive that uh, Berlin is. So far, that's not too bad. It's a really big bowl for 550. So good start to the day. We'll find a hostel and uh, I'm gonna try to taste some beer later. Oh, that would be cool. Taste some German beer. I was told I'm in the city center. It's kind of expensive here, but I got this, found this place and uh, it was really good. I was really surprised. Healthy food, fresh bowl, and it was only 550 euros, so it was, it was really good. I guess you can still ride around in a horse carriage uh, with, with uh, some horses in uh, Berlin. I wasn't expecting to see that. You got the bus behind him and he's got his horses there, so. That's cool. Well, across the street behind me is a very big uh, building. I think it's supposed to be the National History Museum. If I saw it on the map. And uh, going this way, there's supposed to be a hostel. It's not too expensive. Ball house or something. So it's like 20 some euros. I don't know, maybe 28 for the night. And so maybe check that out. Maybe I'll... I don't know what's up with these crosswalks, but uh, the thing is ticking next to me. Sounds like a bomb ticking. I don't know who, what that point of that is for. I thought it was maybe to warn you, but it go, seems to be going the whole time. So. He's telling me it's the best in town, Balzac coffee. So it's really good, right? Yeah, it's awesome, he said. Uh, I don't know, I never heard of this place. Balzac coffee, it looks good though. It looks like a, like a fancy Starbucks. So I don't know. Looks like I found the hostel and it has a beer garden too. I think the guy was talking about this beer garden. So it has it both. So maybe I'll be in luck here. Some kind of pub here, Alt Berlin. Ah, it looks like beer, beer stube. I recognize the word beer. I don't know what stube is. Maybe you get drunk on the beer. Locals here and I'm talking to them in front of the uh, beer stube, the Alt Berlin. And uh, this is a good place to come for beer, sir? No? First time here. You told me this was a good place to come. Yes, of course. Okay. The best place in Berlin for beer. Oh, the best place. Oh, I got very lucky. I just came from the station walking. I don't know. So it's the best place. Uh, what is a good beer to have here? Oh, you can choose between Pilz Lager, the Ballhaus Original, and... Uh, I like Weissbeer. Weissbeer. Weissbeer, of course. You get it also here. Yeah. Okay, Weissbeer. So maybe I'll have some Weissbeer when I... Uh, I'm gonna have that after, and there's a hostel behind me, and you said I can get a room maybe at the hostel, right? Yeah, that's right. It's a very nice one. Okay, thank you. Maybe I'll come, I'm gonna to go to the hostel, and then I'll have a beer with my friend here. And uh, maybe we'll do some more uh, video, and we'll, he'll tell me about Berlin. I saw this, I was reading about this. You get a free breakfast, it uh, looks like, too. We'll see how much it is. Maybe this is the place. And a free tour of Berlin. Reception, I'm going in here. See what they have. Hello. Hi. You have any rooms for a weary traveler coming from Paris? I see a good price on the internet for 20, 28 euros, I think I saw, something like that. Is it possible? 20 something. Gonna tell me. Yeah, uh, yes, tonight. Yes. Okay, in a shared room or double? Uh, uh, maybe with one or two people. Oh my gosh, I got it for a really cheap price. Oh, 16 euros for one night. And it's four person room, so that's really good. Oh, but she told me tomorrow the same room is 29 euros. 
I don't understand that. She said it's cheaper to book online. So you come the last minute and you get a cheaper price than the internet. So figure that one out. So sometimes you just have to go to the place and see, I guess, what the price is. Thinking you have to book. Uh, I had some family, they told me, oh, don't wait till the last minute. Oh, you'll, you'll pay a fortune. Yeah, 16 euros, a fortune. And, and a lot of people said, oh, Berlin is so expensive. It's so expensive. Well, this place doesn't seem too expensive. So, and it's right in the city center. Okay, so here's what you get for 16 euros at the ball house for an, uh, one night, but tomorrow's 29 euros. Huh, looks pretty good to me. It's, it's like all that I need. Oh, I like it. Looks like the bottom one is open too. Oh, I grabbed the bottom one. Oh, because I don't even have four. Wow, so I guess sometimes things are meant to happen for a reason. I came out of the train station, didn't know where I was going, nothing. and. <laughs> Started walking around and the tourist uh, center was, you know, bullshit, really, to be honest with you. The, on the internet, the price was like 28 euros and I got it for 16, so it's fantastic. And 6 euros for breakfast, breakfast buffet here. So this is at the Bauhaus uh, Hostel. So and then I'm going to go and see my friend down there that we met coming in and have a beer. So Berlin, wow, I'm happy so far. <laughs> So I got my room and I got back to the uh, the bar, the pub that I was first in and uh, I'm having this Meisel Bites and uh, my friend was nice enough to buy me a beer, so fantastic. Wow, you can't go along with that, it's a Weiss beer. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. But also what you have, this is the oldest bar in Berlin. This is the oldest bar in Berlin? Yes. Oh, I'm in the oldest bar in Berlin. Wow, wow. what a lucky day. Yeah. Wow. And so we have also... Oh, I'm going to for sure show this. This is the old shop. It's also called Eins Berliner there in the bottle. Okay. And now, of course, you have to drink one. Okay. Okay, I have to drink a shot. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be drunk. They're offering me a shot now of Alt Berliner. Alt Berliner. And this is the this is the this is the shot that they drink in in Berlin. Yeah. Alt Berliner. Especially for a German. Oh man, I'm having a real German stuff today. I have a lot of uh, people in the in the United States that are German. So and uh, actually family. So that's going to be great. A lot of people are going to be interested in this. Okay. Cheers to the Alt Berliner. Alt Berliner. Alt Berliner. Okay, let's have that. Do so I drink it all at once or just yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
<laughs> Long cool hand? And cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably saying it bad then. Sorry. And, uh, but this is it. Oh. Looks really good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna enjoy that. This pizza is really nice. Uh, it's really light, and uh, it's just uh, some really, goes really good with the beer. We got some cheese here, and we got a little tomato, but it's really nice. Nice flavor, light, a little bit of sauce, so it's uh, very good. It's what they eat in Berlin. Amazing, amazing food. What a, what a place. 